Hi, Tom Pernice Jr. here. Looking forward to coming back to Sherwood Country Club to defend the title with the Power Shares QQQ, leading up to the finals of the Schwab Cup Championship Playoffs. I'm going to show you a little bit what I do out of the bunkers that could possibly help you, some very basic things to start off with. For me, I think the average player needs to learn what the arm swing is, how you're going to control the club. And very simply, if I just took the club in my left arm and just started and pointed at the club and just let it swing, it goes right back, straight back, and it goes up right around the plane, cut the left wrist to get the face open. Very simple. So if I can learn that and let the club swing back through, the rest becomes pretty easy. So that's, that's my first lesson or tip is just swing the club, let it slow. Flow from there, flow to there. And then the tip that really helped me more than anything in my bunker game is I was fortunate enough to play a lot with Seve Ballesteros, a lot of practice rounds. And I watched Seve, and I really watched what he did. And he created angles in his setup, and he did one thing that was very unique. When he practiced, he always put the heel of the club back behind the ball where he was trying to land and have the club hit. So what it taught me that the impact of where you hit in the sand is very important because you have to hit that same spot. And he created a wide stance to create some angles to get the ball up in the air. So to demonstrate, he got down here low, and he put the heel of the club actually in the sand where he wanted to hit. Arm swing. Right to the hole. But that was a unique tip that I saw Seve. He never said anything, but I saw him whenever he practiced in practice rounds, he always put his club right down where he was trying to hit. So if I'm playing a pro-am and I'm trying to help somebody, if that person can put the club in the sand but can't hit their spot, they're not going to be a very good bunker player. So a lot of times I'll just start with an amateur or somebody and say, okay, put the heel of your club down in there. How good are you at hitting your spot? If they can hit their spot and find their low point, get the face rotated open, they're going to be a pretty good bunker player. 